Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial where we'll be showing you how to use Pika AI. The website is pika.art and here we have awesome AI tools where we can make awesome content. Now when you sign up for Pika, you will be met with this amazing gallery of tools and we'll be going through some of them in a moment. Now at the top right corner, you have two buttons. You have the upgrade option where you can upgrade your plan and you also have your profile details. Now there is a drop down menu where we can click on it. And when we click on this drop down, you're going to see the amount of credits or point which you have on Picker. We have currently 170 credits. It might be more for you if you're doing it for the first time. And with these credits, you can use in creating awesome stuff. Over here, when we click on it, we can see what's new. And then you have your profile, the pricing, the FAQ, the help, and other things which you might be interested in. Underneath your profile button, you have the option to change your orientation. Currently, we have the grid style, and if you'd like to switch it to list, to have a different look of picker art. Now we're going to go back to the grid view because this presents us with much more at a first glance. Now there are different effects which you could go about and you could also describe a story for a video you'd like to create. And then right here, you have the try it with Pika effect. When you click on this, you will see a demo of the different things which you can do with Pika art. Now we'll be going ahead with some examples. Now the first example we will be having is with a picture. We're going to add an image by clicking on the image down here. Now down here, you have an input field where you can describe your story. You also have an area where you can add an image to your story. You also have the picker effect, which is basically what you've been seeing all around at the beginning of this video. And then here you have the picker icon. Here you can see 1.5, which is the current model we're using. If you'd like to go over to picker 1.0, you can click the upgrade button here or click it up above the screen here. This means that you'll be willing to pay for the picker service. Now here we have this icon called the advanced options. When we click on it, you can see where you can put a negative prompt as a description to your original prompt. You have a seed and the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio is currently at landscape and we'll be leaving it at that. If you're doing social media shorts, you want to go for 916 as this will make more sense for mobile videos. But we'll be leaving it at 16.9. And let's go ahead and try an example. Right away, we're going to add an image by clicking on the image icon here. Select an image, click open. And then without describing your story, you could go over to pick an effect, click on it. And here you have different effects which you can apply to your image. You could have the ta-da effect, which is basically like an illusion. So we can make that image disappear. We could deflate it. We could dissolve it, crumble it, squish it, inflate it, and many more. So we're going to try the ta-da effect and we're going to click on it. And then you can see ta-da it. So that's why we didn't actually need to write anything here in the description because we we're going to select an effect. And then we're going to click on this button, which is the button to make it work. So we're going to click on it to generate our content. And right here, you can see that it's currently loading at 20%. And one thing that is interesting is if you want this to be faster, you can upgrade to the paid version and your generations will be a lot faster. Now, when it's done generating our video, you have this before you. You have a thumbnail or preview of what you provided. And then you can see here is your first video and you can share it with everyone you know. So there is a link which you can copy and paste on your socials or anywhere you'd like. There are other social icons here, which you could do this directly, like on Facebook, on X, on Reddit or elsewhere. You also have the option to download it immediately as you wish. So we're going to download this and then we'll try to play it. And there you have it. We've just made the ta-da effect and we can go out of here by clicking on the X. Now we're going to try another effect and we're going to clear this up and go to pick an effect. Now, if you'd like this to dissolve, we're going to click on dissolve it. And then we're going to click on the generate button. And now we have the result of our second generation. We're going to hover over it. Awesome. Again, we can download this by going over to the top right area here and we have it downloaded on our local device. Once again, if you'd like to share it, you can hover over the top right area of this image and you will have the share icon like so. You can also start it if you'd like, and then it's going to be saved as a favorite. You can find your favorite also up here and you could put this in a folder. So what we can do is to go over to the three dots, click on it, 
and add to a folder. This will be a folder you can create if you want. So whether you're using an image and a Pika effect, or you're just going ahead to describe your story, you can use Pika AI to generate awesome visuals. So that's it. If you'd like to learn how to prompt on Pika Labs, if you'd like to learn how to prompt on Pika Labs, take a look at our other video, how to prompt on Pika Labs, and we'll see you in the next video.